local athletes to build their own community in the locker room and on the field of play. Fans can pick up on those strong relationships and follow a franchise's call if they want their help in a community charity drive. So here's just a taste of that action inside Tucson Arena last weekend. What you're going to see is those reigning teddy bears for just one holiday donation push. We also caught up with the team at Banner Diamond Children's Medical Center who thank the Roadrunners and their fans and that that way they can bring comfort to patients of all ages. Travis fires in, they score! If you follow tradition, as soon as the home team slaps a puck for their first goal of the game, thousands of fans shower the ice with stuffed animals. Roadrunners team captain and veteran Adam Cracknell saw fans launch the Bears for Saturday's sixth annual Teddy Bear Toss, a bright spot in a game without a coveted win. We had a great turnout, unfortunately we didn't win, but to see uh, all the teddy bears getting thrown it, and you know where it's going and who it's going to, it, that's such a, a great cause. Talking to team president Bob Hoffman, he says the franchise has actually collected close to 7,000 stuffed animals throughout the year. Most of this year's haul will go to kids receiving foster care services being helped through Tucson's Aviva Children's Services. It's something that's really special because not only the visual of seeing the bears fly onto the ice, that we're able to create a memory and give them something that maybe they wouldn't have gotten otherwise. The giving doesn't end there. Here is Dusty and several team employees dropping off dozens of bins worth of toys. It's the culmination of fans' contributions for the latest annual toy drive. So the kids going through treatment at Banner Diamond Children's Hospital can unwrap a gift and feel empowered. In the hospital, there's not a whole lot of choices that they have control over. They don't get to choose when they go home, when they have surgery, when they take their medicine. And so with these items, we give them that mastery and control. Hadley Troll and Diamond's Child Life Team help clinical workers by using specific toys to guide young patients through what could be difficult conversations. I always tell people that um, just like stethoscopes are the nurses and physicians tools, Toys are our tools that we use with our patients. Before the start of these big toy drives, Troll and other experts at Diamond let the Roadrunners and their community partners know which toys they need and who will benefit most from these gifts. What we're finding is that, you know, our teen population often gets overlooked and our infant population often gets overlooked. You know, if we're doing a therapeutic activity, um, maybe to decrease some um, anxiety, we need to create a coping plan. So we need stress balls, we need fidget toys, we need deep breathing pinwheels and whistles and bubbles. And for the most part, community partners like the Roadrunners answer that need on and off the ice at all times of the year. Here's another example we wanted to show you just to mention. Uh, the players will spend time with kids at the Boys and Girls Club, maybe teaching them to skate at the holiday ice rink this time of year. Now, the Child Life team at Diamond hopes that those generous neighbors and fans can continue to support the hospital's needs with donations year round.